shit, we're Genesis. Hey, what's up? It's Genesis, and I hope you're doing well. This video is going to be a short one, and it's a quick tip on Ableton workflow. Have you ever come across situations where you keep losing track of what to do in your next production session, or you need to make notes inside of your project file and you don't know how? For example, I have this project file. It's of Origami Roses by Guapo. You can check it out in the description below. And as you can see, I have the instrumental all over here. I have the rendered instrument all over here just in case. I have the original vocals. Pretty much everything is in this project file. And let's say, for example, I want to retake some of these vocals in this section, maybe write some guitar solo in this section, maybe change the drum pattern in this section, and so on and so forth. In order to do that, you might be thinking, oh, you can just write some notes on paper or open up a notepad application and then write down those sections. But you might even forget those exist. And having some sort of visual aid of where the notes are really, really helps when it comes to coming back to your next session. In order to make these notes, make a new MIDI track with Control shift t or Command shift t if you're on Mac. Select and highlight the length that you want to take a note on and make a new MIDI clip with Control shift m or Command shift m if you're on Mac. And you're not going to put any MIDI notes in here. You can close that window. You can rename this with Control r or Command r on Mac. And then from there you can just add some notes. You can then, let's say, put some more here, here, and here. And you can also change the color of each of these, so you can color code multiple different notes in one track. However, if you do find yourself having to note down more than one thing at the same time, let's say in this time frame over here, you can make another MIDI track and do the exact same thing. Change the title. And change the color. So you can differentiate between those two. After that, you can probably move on and group them all together. Name the notes. If you find yourself having multiple tracks of notes, and if you minimize them this way, you can still see these notes without taking up too much space. Of course, you can minimize the entire group, but this also shows you which notes you have and where. A bonus tip, which is what this video is actually based off of, is Andrew Huang's highlight and export technique, where you have a dummy MIDI track on the top, which is the length of your song. And if you want to quickly export your song, just click on it, then render it out with Control shift r or Command shift r if you're on Mac. And then you can quickly render your song. Another thing is there's also a Max for Live device called Notepad by Elephant. I may be using a free and old version, but it still works. Let's say, for example, I want to redo EQ of instrumental over here. And since this is a Max for Live device which goes on the effects window, I can put this in groups of tracks. I can put this on the master as well if I want an overall notes to jot down for the entire project, etc, etc. The link for the Notepad Max for Live device will be in the description below. And that's already pretty much it for this video. I'd like to give a big thanks to Zomblin, Delta Rose, Lizard and iWrite for being my highest tier patrons. You're absolute legends. If you're interested in becoming a patron member and getting access to perks such as exclusive sample packs, dub plates, shoutouts and more, check the links in the description below. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like and sub to buff my algorithm RNG, leave a comment if you have something to say, and maybe share it to someone you think would find this useful. You can further support me by checking out all the links in the description below. This includes my official website, my discord, patreon, merch, and other social medias. Once again, Thanks a lot for watching, and stay creative. See you in a bit.